Hello community, a short warning today, do not use currently GPT-4 Omni if you write in English to your business partner in China or to your friends over there because there is a malfunction. And as I was just informed by MIT, you can see here that they noticed here there is some real problem going on here with the Chinese training data and it has heavily polluted here by spam and a very explicit language. So please, for the moment, be extreme careful if you use this here for any translation. Now, you know that GPT-4 Omni said here, we have now 20 languages, beautiful, multilingual. This is a gorgeous development. However, as you see here by the post here, by the user Didi, that he looked here at the specific tokenizer base of 200,000 tokens that are used here by GPT-4 Omni. And he found that this is here the distribution of the other non-English languages. So we do have here the GPT-4 Omni tokenizer and we have about 200,000 token in our vocabulary, which is great. Now, it seems, given here the latest posting here on X, that 75% of those tokens are for the English language and about 25% are for the non-English languages, all other languages on the, this world that GPT-4 Omni has been trained on. Now, normally, you would also have here pre-training data set A. Let's say this is borrowed from the internet. And this training data are used here to train here the LLM weights. And normally you would assume that the training data set that we built here, our tokenize and the training data set to train the weights are more or less identical. However, as MIT speculates here, what happened might be that the training data set were different. So this means, from our 200,000 token, and let's assume just as a working hypothesis that about 5% are Chinese. Now, those were had to be extracted for some data from some data set. And let's call it the data set B, from very special parts from the internet. And from those data on the internet, the system that decided, ah, now I understand these are all the words or all the forms that I found in this language. And now I build here, I extract here the vocabulary and I build my own vocabulary. Now, if those data sets B is different from the training, the pre-training data set A for the weights, we have an incongruent situation. Now, MIT speculates now that those data set B were heavily polluted so I think whenever uh, OpenAI decided here to connect from California to China to uh, borrow some Chinese data from the Chinese internet, that maybe they run into some um, spam things. And now suddenly they had heavy polluted data from a very particular language. You would find this here in Amsterdam in the red light district only. So this vocabulary has a very particular, very strange language pattern that you find in the red light district. And this training data could be economic, news, politics, whatever about in the community. Now, MIT published that here a PhD student from Princeton University looked particular here at the Chinese terms in the tokenizer. And this published by the MIT said they well, he took here a very specific subset and he looked at this and he said, okay, so from all those test samples, about 97% are just this very specific language from the red light districts. And only about 3% are, let's say, it, a wording or tokens you wouldn't use in the normal business Chinese language. 
So this is, of course, not statistically significant. It is not from several thousand examples. This is just here an individual user testing out here how much pollution is here in this particular language so that it is not, I would call it a business language, but rather a very specific red light district language. Now, if you use now this here, to write to your friend or write to your business partner in China. I would, for the moment, given the warning by the MIT that this malfunction is happening, be very careful. And if you do not speak traditional Chinese or whatever, please make sure that you have a second check before you send off any sensitive information or anything with business related, because if you write your business partner in a very specific language from the red light district, my goodness, there could be some real problems happening on the international level. So for the moment, given here MIT findings, I would say be cautious. What about other languages? MIT here, Tech Review specifies that from people who know about Hindi and Bengali, they say this is only implemented very rudimentary in GPT-4 Omni, mostly scrapped from news articles, so some basic, but not a pollution. However, there seems to be, according to MIT here, a similar situation here with some very particular language patterns that you would find only here in the red light district also happening in the Korean tokens. So maybe until the situation is resolved, be also careful if you write your Korean business partners and you let it translate here with this particular version of GPT-4 Omni, please check again. Otherwise you can find yourself in situation that are really strange. MIT noticed here also, because we have this inconcurrent token situation that does not fit at all to the normal, let's call it a business language, we have an imbalance in the system that could theoretically break here the LLM, GPT-4 Omni, either and they managed to do this, getting it to spew out completely unrelated answer, so pure nonsense, pure hallucination, what we call it, or in rare cases, they generated the system, GPT-4 Omni generated answer that are not allowed according to OpenAI safety standards. You have to imagine this, the system is getting here information it doesn't understand, tokens it had no idea, more tokens it doesn't know, more tokens it doesn't know, and then suddenly there is something, an instruction that GPT-4 Omni understands. And now, in my simple imagination, now the LLM is so happy and says, yes, let's do this. At least this part I do understand. I can translate this. So maybe here under this particular situation, the safety standards can be overwritten by the situation here of a non-coherent tokenization system. And yeah, MIT specifies if you use this, this rare tokens words, First, in your prompt, you can have, unfortunately, to jailbreak it, and then it will start following your orders, your unlimited orders. So you see, there is a real problem currently happening. I'm sure that they are working on this. I'm sure they will find a solution, but maybe give them a little bit of time to come clean. Because if you think that if you have a tokenizer of 200,000 tokens, and then if only you have to replace 5% of 200,000 tokens, my goodness, maybe you have to do it for multiple languages. Yeah, I guess this will take some time. So short warning out there in the AI community, be extremely careful if you do some translation currently into Chinese traditional or standard or whatever simplified. Please double check before you send off any business related communication and even be careful if you send it off to your friends because <laughs> you might find yourself in a situation maybe you have not intended to. Okay, this was it for this morning. Enjoy the rest of the day.